I believe that what God wants to talk about, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, is riptides. Riptides in our lives. You hear me? Sometimes what ends up happening is we go to the beach. Now I'm just I'm just making an analogy. We go to the beach and the water looks beautiful and the clouds, oh my goodness, the sun is shining bright and oh it's just smell, you can smell the ocean air. Just love it. The roar of the waves. Oh, we're going to have fun today. Oh, and you're taking off your, your shoes, getting the sand out. and You're taking off your blouse and your skirt or your pants so you can, you know, you got your trunks and your bathing suit on. You're getting ready to wade in the water and go swimming and have a ball. And you start heading towards the water and then all of a sudden, somebody hollers. Everybody, watch out for the riptide. Wow, riptide. Now, some of us know what a riptide is, some don't. So for those of you who don't, a riptide is an undercurrent, a strong undercurrent. And when everything on the surface looks perfect and the waves are rolling in looking so pretty and foaming up so sweet, there's an undercurrent that's pulling the water out underneath. And when those waves go out, boy, you feel it pulling at your ankles. And they're pulling harder, pulling out, than the waves are when they're rushing in. And you don't really get the, the, the brunt of it until you start swimming. And you expect to stay around the same area as you swim. But you notice when you've swum, you've done a little swimming, you look up. You say, oh my goodness, everybody looks like ants out there on the, on the sand. Well, that's because the riptide has dragged you way further away from shore than you expect it to be in the first place. That's a riptide. The sad part about a riptide is it can take you out so far that you get so tired you don't have the strength to swim back in. Some people panic during those times and they drown. Now, this is what I want to say to you about riptides. Satan knows how to bring a riptide into your life. Everything on the surface looks copacetic. Everything looks harmless. What's a little fun amongst friends? Oh, we're going to have a good time, you guys. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this part of my life. But maybe that wasn't supposed to be something you were supposed to do because there was an undercurrent. And the undercurrent was designated or designed to drag you away from the path you were supposed to take. Let me give you a quick example. Okay, this will help you. Because sometimes we have to talk about our failures in order to expose the undercurrent that's designed to pull you away from your, uh, from your goals, fulfilling your goals. Okay. When I was young, I was in a, in a, on a forensics team. And we went to a speech tournament. And I was winning left and right. So were the, the other team, the rest of the team was, you know, they were all winning as well. Well, all of a sudden, I meet this guy. And we hang out all night long having fun. We were just play, having harmless fun, having a good time. And the clock got away from us. And before we knew it, it was like three or four in the morning. But guess what? I had a tournament to go to. And I was going to compete in the finals. I knew I had it in the bag. I was rating first place all the way down the line. But guess what? I was sleepy. I was tired. My timing was off. My concentration level was zapped. I barely got a good on that rounds grading. And I missed out on winning first place in the nation because I harmlessly hung out all night having fun. And it threw my whole thing off. 
I could not do a good job because I had not prepared adequately. I hadn't got the right, I hadn't gotten the right amount of rest. Do you know how many dreams we abort because we want to have fun? And it's not time to have fun. It's time to stay on point. Get back on point, please. You can look 30 years backwards and say, oh my goodness, if I hadn't gotten caught up in that. Look at where I could have been today. Don't live a life of regrets. Thank God that was just a speech tournament. But what if that had been a major point in my life where I had a great opportunity and blew it for the sake of fun? Think about that. When you make your choices about how you want to pass your time, when you could be applying yourself or playing your life away. Please don't waste your life playing it away, you guys. That's not the abundant life God has for us. Pay now and enjoy later. Enjoy now, you will pay through the nose later. Which way do you want your life to go? Think about that, okay? Think seriously about it. And that means when your friends call or your boyfriend or girlfriend wants you to spend time with them, you may have to tell them, you know, let's put this on the back burner right now because I have a degree to get. I have a future to accomplish and I can't let anything cheat me out of my destiny. God bless you as you Steady your focus on where you're going, not where someone else wants you to play. You hear me? God bless you.